Hey guys, so this video is going to be a little bit different uh, and this was inspired by a conversation that I had with Ye uh, Jaeger and Merck where we were talking about what is the mindset, what, what, what are the thoughts that crossed my mind during a couple of these uh, moments in the game. So uh, in the video I'm going to show you right now the situation or just the play itself uh, without a commentary uh, and then afterwards I'm going to comment on each thoughts that were uh, were important or just would change the way that I'm going to approach this situation. So hope you like it and see you around. A peasant. Who cares? It's 1-1 one, on one the point, they're not gonna cap. Are they half track coming? Yeah, I see it's right beside me. Literally in the middle of the point. Want off of it if someone wants to come kill it. Not a rocket so far. Let's redeploy. Light tank leaving. Or Raptor if you have a. Is accurate, yeah, he is cool. moving Almost slowly. There. Hello, there goes our garrison again. Answer. They spawned there on half track. They spawned on the half track? Yeah, there was no one blocked. Tiger on, I think. Enemy Gary down. I'm stuck with a fucking shotgun. Panther coming. Good guy, well, satchel. Across the road here. It's wanted. Yeah. Coming back with rockets. They always spawn. There's one second floor there. Killed it. Killed. Read it. Someone did. Alright, I'm back with the rockets. Hey, that hatch you're coming on. Oh, you're. Never mind. Hope it's he's something. It's something. Oh my god, this game is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, I took your LP out. If you want to place it real quick, I can come get it. Take it out. Yeah, please. Right back. Oh my lord, there's people thrown here. Hey guys, so here I am with my little pencil. Uh, just to give you a little bit more context about the situation here, uh, we were playing defense and checkpoint and we were trying to hold the front line here. They are pushing from this region and we are trying to uh, contain them over here in order for them not to go straight to the point. Uh, problem is that uh, they wrapped around us over here and they took a garrison that we had over here and in the point here. And they started to cap the point, right? So the idea was just to go back, uh, Rupert here uh, placed a uh, supply over here. And with those supplies, we'll just build the garrison back and try to gain control of the cap once again. It's 1-1 one, on one the point, they're not gonna cap. Are they half track coming? So in this case, uh, I've heard the half track uh, coming from north to uh, south, this direction, and uh, it was coming straight from the main road there, right? And in this case, it's important to you know be aware of uh, vehicle sounds and sounds in general in this game because they play a major role in terms of knowing what you are going to face 
and what you are going to you know what are going to be your uh, way to deal with uh, that situation, right? Yeah, I see it's right beside me. So in this case, I basically place the garrison anywhere over here, uh, just because I want people to come back here and help uh, defending. At this time, uh, we had no uh, notion about you know how many people were in the active uh, sector or the cap zone there, and also Rupert there is a support, so he wouldn't have any kind of explosive to take the. Uh, the half track out so basically placing garrison anywhere here just so people come and help it's right here it's like... so in this case uh i basically you know in the corner of my eye I just saw this this movement in this door and i just flicked there and i i shot and yeah crazy shot literally in the middle of the point i'm on top of it if someone wants to come kill it So because Rupert was already there, I didn't actually uh, you know, pick main angles way too slow. So my idea here was just to go into the three-story building here and try to occupy the uh, top floor. Even you know if I could get in the roof over here, would be good. Uh, also because it has a window that faces this direction and a window that faces that direction. And the idea is to uh, just make sure that we have a kind of perimeter set and because, you know, we were losing the cap here. So there are people around. Not a rocket so far. Let's redeploy. Light tank leaving. Or Raptor if you have a... What? Like... So yeah. Uh, my luck, my kind of luck, uh, they got a strafing run. Uh, and with the strafing run, they were trying to strafe Rupert out of the half track. Because uh, if if you have a guy on top of the half track, it disables it or just locks it. So they strafed it to get Rupert out and ended up killing me as well. So in this case, because Rupert was now dead, uh, now the half track was open. So in this case, you know, just running for my life here. And, and in this case, I know that the hash track has been enabled for uh, some time right now. So I'll pick the corners a little bit more carefully this time, and I'll be prepared for any spawns that they, they may have. I could reapply, but I don't want to loot. Like I'm on the point. Tank marker is accurate. Yeah, he it's is cool. moving oh, slowly. Hello, there goes our garrison again. Panther. They spawned there on half track. They spawned on the half track? Yeah, there was no one blocked. Tiger on, I think. So here I think I hear some wood uh, sound uh, to the right side. And that's why I, I kind of turn myself to the right and I end up uh, doing what I'm going to do. So yeah, uh, my, luckily my shots got both of them. And, but it was kind of a flick as well. But in this case, I knew there was someone uh, in this house. I'm not sure which floor, but I know they were there. And then my eye just catch the, the movement here and I was able to they got those shots up. Enemy Gary down. I'm stuck with a fucking shotgun. So at this time, uh, there is a tank coming here. I hear the tank. And also I hear a grenade on my feet. So the idea here is that I have this half track. It's enabled. It's currently enabled. I got some grenades in, but I'm not sure how many I got with that. Uh, and I'm not sure if there's people maybe uh, in the back of this building or in this building. Uh, what I know is that I cannot just go straight east 
over here in this road because the tank is coming you know north to south so he, it, it may be just facing me and also i cannot just go straight to the half track to lock it because yeah you, you have to tank there so i just make the quick decision to go and get uh prone here in this uh little bush because this bush is a very good hiding place in this uh in this region here so i just go there So now I'm sure the tank is basically uh, splashing uh, this wall over here and uh, because they want this half track to be enabled and you know get any anyone from this. Also I saw this guy running and this is this was an IT in our team. I was hoping he would get the half track but uh, no luck and also I didn't see this guy so when he shot I was able to, to kill him. The road here. It's it. Coming back with rockets. Right, so a couple of things here. So uh, I threw a grenade, a smoke grenade here, because I'm not sure exactly where the tank is, but uh, in I was just trying to get some uh, uh, some something out of his field of view, and uh, but still I cannot just run towards half track because it's you know. It, it may just splash here in the ED ball. And also, uh, it has been quite a while uh, that they spawned before. So I'm pretty sure there is maybe five seconds, you know, 10 seconds away from the next spawn. So I basically, you know, brace myself here. I reload my weapon because I, I'm gonna need all the bullets I have. And also I don't stop to bandage in this time because you know, uh, they are about to spawn and I can just keep myself uh, a little bit ble bleeding out there for, for a while. Oh, also, look my uh, crosshair position. So this, this is one thing that I've, I've been doing for quite some time, where I'll place the crosshair exactly or just exactly the point where I think people will be, right? Um, so instead of me scanning with my eyes what is around or what is going to show up in front of it, I basically focus my attention to this spot. And everything that I find in front of it, I'm just going to click and I'm going to kill. And when I see you know someone here, I'm gonna click, kill, and if I see someone over here, my peripheric vision is hopefully going to pick up and I'm going to be able to basically shift my crosshair right and left. So this gives me an advantage because I, I don't really need to um, care much about, you know, placing the aim a little bit up or just a little bit down. Uh, so I basically I am moving sideways here uh, where I see I may see people uh, spawning. They all spawn. There's one second floor there. Kill it. Oh, really good. All right, back to the rocks. Hey, that house you're coming on? Oh, you're, never mind, hope it's he's open. down. It's open, it's open. Oh my god, this game is fucking ridiculous. So now because uh, we have an AT guy that is not here and we lost OP, uh, the idea is to, you know, basically push the half track to try to disable it. 
and uh, m you know, just with this opportunity that this smoke here gave me, just try to go there. Uh, also, I know there's someone around my right side because Rupert died there. But yeah, I mean, just go towards uh, the the smoke there, towards uh, the half track, and try to disable it. But also try to place uh, here is the house. Try to place an OP over here, so our AT guy can go there and can spawn and you know finish up this half track. I took your LP out. If you want to place it real quick, I can come get it. Take it out. Yeah, please. Right back. Oh my lord. And yeah, uh, there's a prone guy there. I wouldn't even imagine. I could have my rifle uh, on my hands, but yeah, I was just trying to get the OP uh, up there for the AT guy. So yeah, lessons learned. Always there is a prone guy in the bush. Uh, so yeah, hope this helps, guys. And see you around.